the Kabul Kandahar Highway of the Kabul to Kandahar portion of the Ring Road. The Kabul Kandahar Highway was in major disrepair due to over two decades of war and neglect. The United States funded the repair and rebuilding of 389 kilometers of the highway were already usable. Prior to the repairs, the rebuilding project was overseen by the Lewis Berger Group, with assistance in planning and design by Turkish and Indian engineers. Phase 1 of paving was completed in December 2003 and the highway was opened to traffic. The journey from Kandahar to Kabul generally took travelers 18 hours but, since the rebuilding, has been shortened to roughly 6 hours. The Kabul-Kandahar Highway traverses the provinces of Kabul, Medan Vardik, Ghazni, Zabul, and Kandahar. As of early 2004, Taliban fighters continued to harass travelers of the corridor. Afghan guards, soldiers, mercenaries, and workers have been killed along the route. In October 2003, they kidnapped a Turkish contractor. And that December they kidnapped two Indian workers. In February 2004, Taliban rebels shot down a Lewis Berger Group helicopter, killing three. In March 2004, rebels murdered a Turkish engineer and an Afghan guard. Another Turkish engineer and a translator were kidnapped. This action prompted the United States to set up small civilian military teams in three locations. Along the route, these teams no longer exist on May 8, 2016. A major vehicular crash killed at least 73 and injured over 50 people along the Kabul-Kandahar Highway in Moko district of Ghazni province. Two buses traveling from Kabul to Kandahar collided with a fuel tanker, causing a fiery inferno. The vehicles were reportedly speeding to avoid ambush by the Taliban. At least 35 persons died in September 2016 when a fuel tanker collided with a passenger bus.